This video, which was uploaded in September 2021, called The Cost of Being Successful in South Korea, popped up in my recommended today and I decided to watch it. In the video, they talk about how there is a facility just outside of Seoul, South Korea, that has been commercially cloning dogs for the past 10 years. I was unaware of this. They explain that cloning dogs is something that is very controversial in Europe and in North America. But in South Korea, culturally, they have no problem whatsoever with this. No ethical questions arise. They are totally fine with this practice. It is, however, reserved for the elite because to clone one dog costs 80,000 euros. So obviously, only the very rich can afford it. They talk to this dude who's a plastic surgeon, obviously has a lot of money. He explained how he was very sad when his dog died, so he decided to get it cloned. And he now has two clones of his dog. And all I could think was, I was very sad when my parents died, but I would have never wanted them to be cloned. This shit is creepy as hell. I mean, they explain in the video that when you clone a dog... The DNA is the same. You're getting the same body, but the mind of the animal, the temperament of the animal is going to be different. It's not the same dog. It's not the same personality. And the guy realizes this, but he still went ahead and had it done. Just think of all the good this guy could do in the world with 80,000 euros, right? But no, he got his dogs cloned. And you see these dogs, they're jumping up all over the staff at this facility where he goes to have his dogs checked out. They're barking when he goes to shake the guy's hand. They're out of control. Dude can't even train his dogs. It's just so aggravating to see how intrusive and annoying his dogs are. And he's letting them run around off leash in parks and in parking lots. And I'm like... Are there no leash laws in South Korea? Like, anyhow, he speaks with the veterinarian at this place about how his dog can't open, well, one of his dogs can't open its right eye properly. And the veterinarian dude explains that this is commonly seen in cloned dogs. So essentially, people are spending 80,000 euros to create a creature that will likely suffer with genetic defects. I think it was, I think they said that at least 700 dogs have been created at this place that is unique in the world. Uh, it seems to be the only place doing this in the world. And by his own admission, the guy says, you know, that most of these dogs, or many of them, and you, and you have to think, is this guy going to say is he going to give us the facts? He's not going to say anything negative about the cloning process because he's making a shit ton of money off it. You know, he's explaining that the dog's going to need surgery on its eye within five years because the eye is deteriorating. How much is this surgery going to cost? I imagine it's going to cost thousands of euros. So, of course, he's not going to want to say anything negative about the process. Is he giving us the real story you know when he says some of the dogs uh are gonna have this i i just can't imagine that cloned dogs are gonna be healthy uh i i suspect that most of the dogs are gonna have problems but anyhow uh what more can i say about that guy i don't know i just think it's nuts that these dog worshipers think of their pets as their children or their best friends how many of us would wish to have our friends or our family members cloned after they die when we understand that their personality is not going to be the same when you clone them? You're going to get a completely different being that might look like your loved one, but it's not the same person. It's going to have a different mind, a different personality. Uh, I don't think many of us would want to do that with our family members or our children or our best friends. And it's not only the elite who are doing this. Apparently, the government of South Korea has ordered the cloning 
of a dog from America, a service dog called Tracker that is regarded as a hero because it saved the last survivor from the 911 tragedy. So they say, you know, the dog was not acting out of the kindness of its heart. It was not acting altruistically. It was doing what it was trained to do for a reward that does not make you a hero. Uh, the government has ordered the cloning of these dogs and plans to, um, to make these dogs part of the sole um, police force. Does the government not realize what they state in this video that the dogs might get the same body and the same genetic makeup, right? But it they're not going to be the same dog. They're not going to have the same temperament. Maybe when they try to train this these new clones to be service dogs, they're going to have piss poor temperaments and they're not going to be able to uh, work as service dogs. It, it's just none of it makes any sense to go and spend so much money are there not enough dogs in this world already for people to purchase as pets? And can you not just get a dog from, you know, a place that breeds these dogs for, you know, to become service animals? It must be a lot cheaper. And in the video, the guy goes on about how these German shepherds are potentially going to help humanity well, as I've discussed in my videos, there are plenty of alternatives to service dogs which are safer and do not pose a risk to the public because service dogs, highly trained service dogs, regularly attack innocent members of the public and they sicken the public with their allergens, with their dander, they pollute the environment with their waste. I mean... <laughs> All of this is just so absurd and ridiculous. Instead of spending 80,000 euros per dog clone, why don't they put that money towards developing alternatives to service dogs where alternatives don't yet exist? Safer, more reliable alternatives that don't threaten or sicken the public. Plastic surgeon dude here visits his dog's grave every day, spends a couple of minutes praying over his dog's grave every day. This is just pathetic. It's very sad. It's pathological. This man is delusional. The relationship he had with his dog was a fantasy. It, he did not see the dog for what it was. This dog didn't care about him. He thinks they had some sort of loving bond. The dog can't love because it can't experience these human emotions. It's not of our species. It's not human. It's therefore not human-like whatsoever. It has no human characteristics. We're talking about a predator, you know? A remorseless, bloodthirsty predator would have happily eaten his face if he had died in his home, felt no remorse, because dogs can't feel remorse. This dog was a was a scavenger, a predator, a shit eater, a worthless pest animal. And this guy just built up this relationship in his mind to make it, he just glorifies it. Like, does this dude not have a family? Where are your human connections? Why don't you go over to your grandparents' grave? Instead, show some respect to those who actually deserve it. Those who actually nurtured you or your ancestors and, and, and enabled you to live in this world. Even go to a stranger's grave and thank them for the service they provided to your community to, to help you live in your community. These people are the ones you should be paying homage to. to <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I can't even speak. I'm just so um, bewildered by this whole thing that people have forgotten to honor those who actually deserve to be honored and are just squandering it all on these worthless pest animals that just contribute nothing. 
nothing in actuality. And anything they do provide, it just, it all exists in their own minds. It's a fabrication. It's a fantasy. <sighs> anyway, thanks for listening. I look forward to reading your comments below. The future is pet-free.